Good morning, everyone. Welcome on back to North Dakota Today, live in Manitoba. So for over a century, Assiniboine Park has served Winnipeg as a gathering place where people come together to connect with nature and each other. So wholesome. The sprawling park is home to popular attractions like the Assiniboine Park Zoo, which we'll get into later. Wide open green spaces like the ones you see here and breathtaking gardens. Last winter, the park celebrated the opening of a brand new horticultural attraction called The Leaf, which is where we are today. To tell us more about the magnificent new attraction, we're speaking with Rhonda Halliday, horticulture supervisor here at the Leaf. Good morning, Rhonda. Good morning. How are you? Great. Thank Good. you for joining us this morning. My pleasure. All right. So let's get into it. It's yes. obviously so gorgeous in here. It is so tell us about good. the Leaf and what visitors in Winnipeg can expect to see here. Sure. So the Leaf is the newest attraction to Assiniboine Park, um, and probably one of the most significant horticultural attractions to be added to Canada in decades. Um, it contains. Uh, different biomes mm -hmm. and it is celebrating the uh, incredible diversity of cultures and horticulture so plants from around the world yeah. and it's trying to get people to connect with nature um, and of course being indoors we're open all year long it means even in minus 30 outside people can still come in and have that connection to nature yeah absolutely yeah. especially with those long winters you just kind of want to touch some grass some yeah. greenery be a little bit more in nature no. yes. yeah exactly <laughs> right and so we're in the tropical biome and yes. then what other biomes do you have so this is the hartley and heather richardson tropical biome okay. we also have our mediterranean biome mm -hmm. our babs asper display biome where we celebrate more of the art side of horticulture yeah. and then we have the Shirley Richardson butterfly biome as well. All right, and what can you find in each biome? So in the tropical biome, you're going to find uh, plants from tropical areas basically all around the equator. It's quite humid. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be the warmest of all the biomes <laughs> to get the plants doing what they should be doing. The Mediterranean biome, a little more arid, so a little drier, a little bit cooler. And it's plants from more temperate regions like Spain and Italy and even Australia and Africa. Uh, the Babs Asper display biome actually gets changed out five times a year so oh. if people are coming back they'll see a different yeah. uh, display every time they come and then we have flowering plants and butterflies up in the Shirley Richardson butterfly oh bio. my gosh gorgeous yes. okay and yes as she mentioned it is a little hot in here in the tropical <laughs> biome but we do want to mention the waterfall here that kind of makes it a little bit more humid yes. so what's the significance of a waterfall so the waterfall actually does a few things not only is it beautiful um, but it actually increases the humidity in here which is best for the plants. Mm -hmm. um, it also, because the flowing water, it actually does help to cool it a little bit and it creates airflow in here, which also is healthier for the plants. Yeah, yes. okay, that makes sense. So it's actually the largest indoor waterfall in Canada at oh. about 60 feet or six stories. Oh, wow. Yes, that and is... you can actually go upstairs to a walkway um, and actually view the waterfall okay. from up at six stories. Yeah. yeah, oh my gosh. Okay, we're definitely going to have to do that. You'll have to tune into our Instagram and we'll definitely post videos there so um, coming into the leaf I just noticed the amazing just stunning um, at, uh, the shape of the leaf up here and then also you guys have the gardens outside do you want to tell us about that we do so the leaf itself actually sits on about 30 acres of green space and cultivated gardens um, we have the indigenous people's garden where we're trying to celebrate the indigenous cultures and their intense connection with nature um, we have our kitchen harvest garden, which is all vegetables and herbs, and we're trying to show people some of the different things that they can grow, even in a place like Manitoba where we don't have a long season. Um, we've got our uh, performance garden where people can actually see different artistic activities going on throughout the year. We have the Johnson Family uh, Seasonal Garden that actually changes through the seasons. It's mostly perennials, but every time they come, something will be different flowering. Okay. And then we have the Sensory Gardens, which is more about sight and scent and mm -hmm. sound and yeah. Yeah, amazing. All right, so if anyone's interested, where can they find you guys? Uh, so you can find information about us at assiniboinepark.ca. We also are on social media, so if you want kind of little teasers about what's going on, you can find us on social media as well. Okay, amazing. Thank you so much for telling us all about My it. Pleasure. And the gorgeous backdrop, we needed a little bit of history on that too. Well, coming up next, we will be visiting the Manitoba Museum, so you want to stick around.